my channel it's your girl Kim today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different for you guys I'm gonna be cooking yes so welcome to my kitchen y'all my name is Kim get yourself all settled in and stuff cuz we about to make dinner y'all anyways so I'm making shark meat which is pretty interesting because I've never a tried shark meat and I've never made it you know i've never ate it never tried it so this should be very interesting you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna be making a sweet lemon garlic butter shark with pasta and broccoli on the side so if y'all want to see how i make this today you want to see how it turns out if you are interested in making it yourself then let's go because I didn't actually think it was actual shark meat so I picked it up and it was actually Deontay who said to me that why did I pick up shark meat and I don't know how to cook it and I was like what are you talking about it's not real shark blah 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 and he was like yes it is so come to find out I bought two pounds of actual shark meat that I don't even know if I like it or not but we're gonna find out um, the only thing useful that I actually found on YouTube today when I was actually trying to research how to make this was that it's more on the harder side. It's like a tougher cut of fish. So a lot of people I saw that they were like grilling it and stuff like that. So I don't have a grill, but I have an oven. So I'm going to just put on like a dry rub right now so that's what i'm about to do i'm about to just you know start off with the usual salt black pepper because i don't know i feel like no matter what it is whether it's shark chicken steak whatever i feel like if you season it up right you know like it's gonna be good you know season it up right and just make sure it's fully cooked through it should be good you get what i'm saying oh i forgot to show you guys that i'm also going to be using lemon pepper well, lemon pepper so I'm gonna be putting salt black pepper a little bit of Creole seasoning because I just feel like you know I like how it tastes a little bit of cayenne because everything's better with some pepper I'm Jamaican y'all so I believe pepper goes on everything which my husband hates but whatever he'll get over it and some sazon and of course good old old bay anything seafood has to have some old bay on it
got a second opinion right here and so it's the moment of truth y'all i think everything came out really pretty but we gotta you know try it and see how we like it and how everything tastes so i'm gonna have him try it first try yes <laughs> mm. it looks really good y'all i ain't got no place yet because we just move get you a man that prays <laughs> The sauce. You love the sauce? Yeah. Yeah. That looks wild time, but Yeah. We're good. Can I try it? You got a whole plate. <laughs> Damn, I just wanna try it. Just a little <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fake out the smallest pieces, but too hot? Mm. We're not to eat for real now, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's dry. It's a drier type of fish. Baked it. That's why? We're not talking about ten. Hmm. Probably because I let it sit in there too after I finish it. Yeah, that's definitely a reason too. Damn. I think I probably overcooked it. But it tastes good. I like it. But yeah, so if you guys like this video, if you remake this recipe or do a little variation, you know, tweak it a little bit or whatever, be sure to tag me, add me on Instagram so you know you can take your pictures or whatever and tag me. But I'm about to dig in, y'all, so peace. It was actually really